And we need to warn you up front tonight, our top story is about a mature subject. The ABC 15 investigators have learned two Flagstaff police officers went undercover into massage parlors, took off their pants, and each allowed themselves to be fondled at least five different times. Experts say state law is clear. That's illegal. But it was approved by federal agents and Flagstaff command staff. ABC 15's Zach Crenshaw has spent months looking into the operation's ongoing criminal case. He has more now on the ethical, moral, and legal questions swirling around them. Federal agents called it Operation High Country Hydra. In 2019, a tip came in about Flagstaff massage parlors accepting money for sex acts. Homeland Security Investigations and Flagstaff PD launched a joint months long operation to try and stop the suspected trafficking and prostitution. But when that investigation was complete, not a single trafficking victim had been identified. Arrests were made, though, after two officers went undercover unclothed. And I was like, well, if you want me to take them off. And so she was like, well, your comfort if you want them off or you don't want oil on them. So I was there was kind of some confusion on that. So I ended up taking them off. And that's what I felt like the suggestion was um, from her. That is Flagstaff officer Dustin Eberhardt in a deposition talking about the first time he allowed a masseuse to fondle him naked. As soon as I got aroused, I that's when I immediately started asking about the money and like how much. And like I said, we were, I've never done one of these, so I was fairly nervous and I didn't know where to like stop it. So I was trying to stop it quickly. Officer Eberhardt would do the same thing seven more times over the next 48 hours. Roughly three months later, his coworker, Officer Hutchinson, went back into five of those massage parlors and did the same thing, all to see if the businesses would accept debit cards. Attorneys, trafficking experts, even other law enforcement tell ABC 15 there are a lot of issues with what you just heard. For starters, state law says what the officer just admitted to is illegal. Two, experts say it wasn't necessary to make the prostitution case. And three, in their reports, investigators repeatedly say they're looking into sex trafficking, then proceed to pay for sex acts from potential victims. Women who work in massage parlors are not a commodity. They're people. Brad Rideout is an Arizona defense attorney and former prosecutor. He's not involved with this operation. In Arizona, you cannot exchange money for sex acts while on duty. It is a crime. State Statute 13-1412. A peace officer commits unlawful sexual conduct by knowingly engaging in sexual contact with any person who's in the officer's custody or the subject of an investigation. Flagstaff Police Chief Dan Musselman says his employees didn't violate state law because the officer did not sexually touch the masseuse. In an emailed response to questions, the chief went on to say, quote, quite the opposite happened. The subject fondled Officer Eberhardt, thereby making him the victim of sexual abuse under 13-1404. That officer, who the chief says is the victim, staked out the eight parlors, walked in with a recording device, paid cash, and took off his boxers. Also, that statute the chief references stipulates abuse only occurs without consent, but Officer Eberhardt says he initiated the process. Um, so I had just like put my hand on the back of her cap um, and then held it there. And then she like laughed about it. Um, and then shortly after that, we did the rest of the stuff and then she had me roll over. I don't know how you can continue to prosecute a case uh, in which you know that there's a strong possibility that this officer has committed some sort of crime. Jack Litwack represents one of the 13 people indicted in this operation for conspiracy, money laundering, and operating a house of prostitution. Like many defense attorneys I spoke with, He's shocked Flagstaff Police and HSI used an investigative technique he says has been widely condemned. They do not need to do that, and frankly, they should have known better. Chief Musselman, though, said, quote, it was necessary for there to be direct fondling. But in Arizona, prostitution is defined as engaging in or agreeing or offering to engage in sexual conduct under a fee arrangement. When pressed on that, the chief said it was important offers originate from the masseuse and wrote, quote, there was an additional concern of potential language barriers. This is a uh, far overstep into abuse of power and some really disturbing ethical uh, issues. Jenna Panis is an expert on the topics of human and sex trafficking. She says she was disgusted when she heard about this operation. You don't ask victims to give you sexual pleasure. That is, that is not appropriate. 
In documents, officers and agents repeatedly mention human and sex trafficking as a primary focus of this investigation. Law enforcement even brought along victims' advocates when they made the arrests, writing, quote, there would be a good likelihood that we would encounter someone who was at the parlor against their will. But in their reports, that stated concern for possible victims only appears after officers Eberhardt and Hutchinson take off their pants, after they're fondled. Before that, investigators never determined are the women we're about to pay to touch city employees trafficking victims. If you're engaging eight separate times into trying to have sex with, with victims, you are engaging in trafficking. So the officers in this case could be charged with trafficking, and they, they are not. Zach Crenshaw, ABC 15, Arizona. ABC 15 asked specific questions of Homeland Security Investigations and the Coconino County Attorney's Office. Both declined to answer those questions or conduct an interview. As for the criminal cases, since we started looking into the story months ago, court records indicate at least five of those cases have been dismissed.